In today's video, we're going to be talking about cameras and a little bit of an issue I recently ran into, and this is kind of to bring awareness to people. So a lot of people in my videos ask what I shoot with, and normally I shoot with my Sony FDR AX53. Um, Sean over at Lep Aviation kind of turned me on to this camera. This is what he uses as well. And I've been shooting with it now for about five years. Um, I really like the camera. It's got some great image stabilization and it shoots 4K. A lot of times I don't take this to work every day just because it's kind of a pain to keep in my backpack and bring through security. So recently I decided I was going to bite the bullet and buy a second one so I could just keep it locked in my office. And that way, if anything cool comes in, like a lot of times I'll miss something that comes in as a diversion because I don't have my camera that day. Well, now I just have one at work pretty much permanently. So after shooting with it, I've had it about two weeks now, and I've shot maybe four or five videos. I noticed something was just kind of off with it as far as the quality and the stabilization. So I brought it home to make sure all my settings matched. And that's kind of where I ran into the first issue. And after doing some research, I found out there's actually two different versions of this camera. So this is my original one, and this is the North American version. And you can see here that it's got a little 60i next to it. Now my new version, you can see on the bottom here, the first difference is this is all in some kind of Asian. And you can notice here that this is a 50i and not a 60i like the previous one. So after doing some research, I found out that this is the North American version and this is like the Europe and Asian version. And now the big difference with these is in here in the settings. And this is kind of what I noticed when I was going to see if everything matched. Now on my North American version, my original one, which I normally shoot with, you can see here for the frame rate, we've got 30 FPS and 24 FPS. Now if we come over to this one, the only option we have is 25. So I'm not sure if that's the only difference between these two, but obviously that's a big difference and I think that's what's causing some of my problem. So I'm not saying this shoots by any means bad footage and if I was using this only for my other channel where I do more close-up stuff, it would probably be okay. But at range, zooming in, there's the stabilization just looks twitchy and almost like it's glitched out. So I, I definitely am going to be sending this back. Um, I got this one off Amazon and you can see here in the description, it says 4K Ultra HD 24 and 30p. So that would lead me to believe that what I was supposed to get was another North American one. Now I'm not trying to like throw anyone under the bus here or say shame on the seller. I don't know if they sent me the wrong one or if they just didn't know what they had or what the issue is. But this is definitely going to be going back because this is an expensive camera and if I'm paying a thousand dollars for a camera, I expect to be getting the same quality camera that I have. Now, I don't know if people have even noticed the slight difference in quality or kind of the twitchiness, but like I said, for paying a thousand dollars for this camera, I expect to not get the watered down version. And like I said, I'm kind of just doing this as awareness because I know a lot of people always ask us what we shoot with. And I would hate for someone to go out expecting to get the 60i version and getting sent the 50i version and not knowing any different. And then just sitting there wondering like, how come like Mike and Sean's videos are like so much smoother and stuff and theirs is just twitchy. Like it's, it's the camera itself. So I'm going to probably go to Best Buy um, and get a new one and actually open the box, make sure it's the North American version, the 60i. And like I said, this one is definitely going back because it's not what I ordered. So not really happy with that. Um, if you guys really want to see what these cameras can do, you need to go check out Sean's channel at Lep Aviation and see what and how just how smooth these can actually shoot when you really know what you're doing. So go ahead and check that out. And again, thanks for watching.